Information on a big controversy facing the Catholic Church. Another round of talks between the Milwaukee Archdiocese and its creditors has ended with no agreement. Katie Crowther is live to explain what this means for clergy sex abuse victims. Katie? Mike, how to con compensate those victims is what the Archdiocese and its creditors cannot agree on. As a result, they must both go back to federal court. No Peter Isley was abused by a Catholic priest when he was 13 years old. You never forget that moment where the touch of that predator. He's a local advocate for SNAP, the survivor's network for those abused by priests. I can tell you, many of these victims and survivors do not get on with their lives and cannot get on with their lives because of what happened to them. Now they must wait longer for any type of compensation. Another round of mediation between the Milwaukee Archdiocese and creditors has failed. Isley says with each failed attempt, hundreds of clergy sex abuse victims are losing hope that the church will do the right thing. To accept its history, to own what it has done, Milwaukee Archbishop Jerome Listecki declined to comment about the specifics of the case. What I can tell you is that we, uh, we will continue to try to work on a plan um, uh, of reorganization that will try to um, uh, meet our responsibilities and come to some type of closure. Now, for the Archdiocese, legal fees have already topped $13 million, and with no end in sight, that cost will only keep growing. Many people argue that some of that money could have already gone to some of the victims. Reporting live in Cathedral Square, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Katie.